Hello, you sexy biscuits, and welcome back into a, a dead bandit. That's what you get on the Sexy Biscuit channel. Quality dead bandits. I'm going to keep this one. So you read the title right. In today's video, we're looking at an incredible mod. This is the Architect mod by Dataframe. What I'm going to do is quickly go through the installation process with you. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is, of course, download the mod. Click slow download and it will download a zip folder to your computer. So this next step is very important. What you want to do is right click on Kingdom Come Deliverance itself and then go to set launch options and then what you want to do is add in hyphen dev mode and then you're just going to add that in there I'll put it in the description so you can just copy and paste it it's right there put that in the launch options and then while you're here click on local files and open the local folder inside here you will then go to the mods folder if you have Kingdom Come Deliverance cheats take that out that will not work at the same time as this mod but if you don't that's absolutely fine and literally all you need to do after that is open up the zip folder you downloaded and drag and drop architect into your mod folder and you're done okay so now the mods installed you're able to do some pretty interesting things so by scrolling with the mouse wheel you will see a new menu pop up now all of these keys are completely rebindable so i'm going to quickly find something in this list that i want to put down let's put down oh let's put down some green grass so i'm going to press g oh there you go oh that's so fancy now you're probably thinking wow what a what an amazing mod it's it's Grass Simulator 2020. <laughs> well, have I got news for you? I can put more down. <gasps> oh, that's a different patch entirely. To show the true power of this mod, I'm going to put something down. Oh, yes, a shop stall. Now, next to that, I'm going to put a quick raspberry bush, you know, to make it look nice. Let's put this one down here and that one there. Oh, that looks so fancy. And then I'm going to put down a straw bed because we need to sell something. Right, you go on there. Perfect. Step right up, step right up. Dead bandit right here. Anyone need your dead bandit, Phil? I've got it right here. Only five thrippants. <laughs> no, no. All right, fine. Now you're probably saying right now, but Roxy, that's in the way. Thank you, Ewan McGregor. Yes, it is. So what I'm going to do is press V on it and Bardushki, it's gone. Now, unfortunately, I, I don't know how to delete plants. It won't let me do that. So there's going to be forever some raspberry bushes here but i can delete this guy's bed oh i feel bad now come on so yes you can basically place anything you want and i find that absolutely incredible now there are some limitations with this if i wanted to let's say place this guard tower you guys can see it's right there now yes that does look very nice it fits in perfectly with the world and it looks like this was placed here by the developers the only thing that is missing here is some form of preview i want to be able to see where my thing is going to be placed i also want to be able to rotate items imagine fallout 4 settlement system if they could implement that in some way that would be absolutely amazing also i will say that going through this list takes a while you have to scroll and scroll to be able to find whatever you want if we could have some form of menu system that would be awesome maybe adding a favorite system not only is this mod absolutely fantastic but i could see it becoming amazing because one of the biggest things i see online is people asking could we add on to pribish lavids and with this in theory you can so if i was to go in here i could add in this i could add in basically anything i want and make my own small settlement because yes, you also have stuff like barns. Okay, it's a little bit off the ground, fair enough. But in theory, you could build your own settlements. But without the knowledge of where items are going to drop, it could be quite difficult. But I got to say right now, this is a fantastic start. Now, I'm going to be leaving this here. Because yes, if you save the game, this will stay in your game. If you've saved the game and then remove the mod, these items will remain. So make sure if you don't want an item to stay in the game, either don't save or remove them before saving this also means that you're able to build near towns which you weren't able to with the camping mod let's say i think that looks pretty nice there actually <laughs> it kind of reminds me of daisy so what i could do here is i could place a shed here which looks quite good um, and then i could add a uh, let's i could add some compost to the side because that you know that looks kind of realistic you'd have that there 
Um, and then what I could also do is add in some form of smithing. So if I was to put that... Oh! <laughs> I've put it inside that. Hang on a minute. I've created a monster. No, that's not what I wanted to do. So I could add in, let's say, a forge here. And that could be there. Now, also, I could, in theory, put it in here. So if I put it about there... I oh, know, let's, let's move that a bit to... Oh, I've deleted the wrong thing. <laughs> That's one of my biggest things with this. If they could add some form of highlight system, that would be amazing. So let's add in this smithing place here. And then I could add in... Oh, a forge. That's pretty good. Let's add that. Um, there you go. So I could maybe put this here. Oh, it's a little shelf. <laughs> That's nice. Hang on, could I put that on here? Oh, that's cool. It's the wrong way round, but that's pretty bloody awesome. Oh my god, could I just keep building shelves? That's what I could do. I could build shelves on top of shelves. Amazing! Also added in an anvil there. Um, let's add in another one. That's a big one. Amazing! I'm gonna say there's no effect on performance I'm seeing whatsoever. You can basically keep adding items into the world. So there's no limit here. In theory, I could add in infinite items so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go to the smithery and i'm going to click on this and then we're just going to keep adding on and see what happens now i'm worried the game is probably going to crash here but we're going to see how far we can go with this so you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to keep tapping the construct button <laughs> i want to see how crazy i can make this um it's still going we're still going okay uh Still, no effect on performance. I'm slightly impressed, actually. Um, <laughs> it's like bloody Fortnite up in here. And I like that there's no distance limit. So you can, in theory, build a massive structure right into the sky. You see that? It just keeps on going. K keep her going. There you go. Uh, there's... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hang on. I want to see what this looks like. <laughs> Oh, oh boy yeah that's um yeah that's something uh it's gonna take me a while to delete all these um i just constructed more but yes as you guys can see there, there's basically no limit i'm not noticing any frame rate issues it's still going uh i don't know if you could hold down no you can't you have to keep tapping um you can build some on top of here too <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. I'm loving this. This is great. There's been an explosion at the smithery. <laughs> oh, God. It's turned into a monster. Well, at least that explains the Loch Ness monster. Right, so we're just going to uh, run away from this because I, I, <laughs> I've built too much. <laughs> what does this look like um, from the sky? Hang on. I want to I wanna get a close view on this. Um, hang on, I want to see what this looks like from up high. That's as high as we can go. Unfortunately, okay. Oh my, oh my god, the game is... That... <laughs> oh, oh, amazing. I, I, yeah, this is wowzers. So what did you do today? Well, you know, I, I, I built a, a giant structure out of um, smitheries. Yes, yes, I did. So I've reset and I'm traveling to Townburg because I want to see what happens if I try building something on a person. <laughs> I, I want to see what happens there. So we've got this empty cauldron. Uh, could I put this here? Yeah, so there's no limit whatsoever to where you can put things. That's amazing. Um, okay, could I... I, <laughs> could I <laughs> just, just add on to the madness. There you go. He, he is cauldron man. Um, he loves a good cauldron. There. Oh, God. What, <laughs> where, where did his leg go? <laughs> Oh no! Oh, oh no! It's Cauldron Man! Um, could I keep adding on here? Yes, I can. Amazing. I'm just gonna add it until he's literally no longer viewable. Um, so let's add one there. I wonder if I can talk to him. Can you talk to him inside here? Hello? Oh, he's fine. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's absolutely fine. Um, I do want to try and put something on your head. And let's... There you go. Amazing. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, let's talk. Good day to you. <laughs> Good day to you too, fireplace man. Does he only trade in charcoal? Is that, is that all he trades in? That would be the best. 
Oh my god. Okay, no, he has none. That sucks. Although he does have some lockpicks, so I'm gonna buy those because hell yeah. Well, I guess you could say this guy's pansexual. <laughs> no. Alright, fine. Hey, do you want some food? Here you go. There you go. Some nice raspberries for you here. I, I think they're raspberries. Um, or are they strawberries? I don't bloody know. You shall have a plant on your head. Amazing. Fantastic. <laughs> Oh god, I'm stuck! <laughs> What's the matter, laddie? Need to shit. I think you do. Um. <laughs> oh no, I've broken him. He is broken. He. Oh jeez. I want to get a better view of this. Hang on. Um. <laughs> That's a. <laughs> oh Jesus! Yes! Oh! I'm so happy right now! I'm so happy! Oh! You've made my day, good sir. You have made my day. I'm, I'm gonna give him the same. Here you go, a tree for you, good sir. Um, <laughs> there you go. It's Gordon Dreamon! <laughs> So there you have it, that is Architect Mod. Now this is going to be great for those people who want to add finishing touches to maybe Privish Lavitz um, with the From the Ashes DLC. I think this is absolutely fantastic for that. And this will stay in your game save, as I said earlier, so it's really good for doing stuff like that. Just don't, don't do what I did. Um, that's probably not the smart idea. Anyway, comment down below, what are you going to be using this mod for? But until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys.